Dr. Benita Rhodes to hear about a notable modern building. Benita, how lovely to see so you. So nice to meet you. You're standing by a stunning building. What is it? This is the legendary Bank of the Czechoslovak Legions, also known in this country as Legio Banca. It is a Rondo Cubist masterpiece of the interwar years. Panita, I've never heard of Czechoslovak legions. When were they founded and why? There were groups of Czech patriots from abroad that wanted to fight for an independent homeland for Slovaks and for Czechs. They joined up with the, the French foreign legions. They joined the Russian Tsarist army. And then they started to receive prisoners of war who wanted to throw over the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Ultimately, they become a fighting force of 100,000 men. I like to say that the country was not given to the Czechs and Slovaks as a gift wrap present by the Allies. It was fought for with force of arms. At the end of the First World War, there's a new country called Czechoslovakia. What happens to the Legion? Well, the ones that were in Russia were ordered by the new government to continue to help the Allies to try to turn back the Bolsheviks. It was a decision that was going to cost them another year or two outside of their new nation. And in the meantime, they have one of the greatest railway adventures ever. The force of up to 60,000 legionnaires took control of thousands of kilometers of the Trans-Siberian Railway and several towns along the way. They become a rolling republic um, with armored trains that have bakeries, hospitals. They decorate their trains with patriotic symbols. They capture the Tsarist's imperial gold reserve on, on, on eight, all eight train loads of it. Ultimately, that gold was what they bargained with, with the Bolsheviks to allow them to finally leave Siberia in an allied flotilla that met them at Vladivostok. Vladivostok, I mean, that's over towards Japan. Yes, the edge of the universe. Some of them didn't even make it home until 1921. Why would the legionnaires have a bank? Well, they were owed a great deal. So they had years of back salary to collect and it needed to be deposited somewhere. There are rumors that they may have actually retained one load of Tsarist gold. That is one of the legends that surrounds their exploits. Why decorated like this? This is a deeply patriotic building. It starts a new national style um, using the cubist architecture that's distinct to this country. I love the frieze by Otto Goodfreund, who was one of the great Czech cubists. Everybody in it is touching each other. It's about welcome home. Um, the military parts are by a different sculptor, um, the great uh, Jan Storza. Here you see, of course, the, the gas masks and trench warfare. Uh, here, this is the Siberian Railroad, and you see the Russian bear. My goodness, Bonita, I could easily have strolled past this building. I dare say millions of people do. You have just completely brought it to life. What an amazing bit of history. 